Good morning Home Depot community. I'm Pat and Paint. Recently we've had several questions about tile and sealing tile and enhancing the color of tile. A lot of natural stone comes to us in a buff down matte looking finish. It's just the stone itself. If you want to use these Tile Lab products there are actually several steps to follow. The sealer is designed to actually seal the stone against the grout stain. So you would actually apply this product or can apply it ahead of doing the grout. It could be used after as well, but what this will do is it will prevent a colored grout from actually staining the surface of a porous stone. After you take the grout haze off the stone, that would be in the process of application about the second day, then you're going to want to uh, use a matte finish or a gloss finish on your stone as a final. The matte finish will maintain a look somewhat similar to this. The gloss finish does exactly what it says. It'll bring the gloss up. In either case, the stone will be enhanced a whole lot like wetting a stone. So let's give it a try. Let's take a little bit of our matte finish and let's start out on the first half of this stone and just create a coat of matte. And as you can already see, the colors are beginning to come up. This is a water cleanup product, and it's going to give you a nice flat looking finish. It's going to take about two hours for the product to dry. And the same thing is true with the gloss finish. Let's put a little of that gloss on this stone. And we'll get to see the difference in the sheen between a matte and a gloss finish. Application can be like I'm doing here with a chip brush or an inexpensive uh, brush or the instructions actually call for a uh, wool pad, something like you would use for applying wood stain on a hardwood floor. And the only real difference in the right side and the left side is going to be that the gloss is going to come up much more on the, on the gloss product and much less on the uh, and, and more of a matte finish on the other side. So let's go ahead and do these other stones as well so we'll have a good example of both. You can see the colors coming up significantly right here. Just as we begin to wet it they'll come up even more. You see how rich those colors are pulling up. And let's apply a little bit of matte over here and then we're going to allow about two hours dry time and we'll actually be able to see the difference between the matte and the gloss finish on this stone. Really, really good product. I use it myself on backsplashes. Uh, I just absolutely love what it does. It seals both the grout and the stone and prevents it from staining. And probably these products need to be redone about every two years. So just keep in mind, if you have a shower where there's a lot of mildew, this product uh, after a, a good bleach cleaning of the grout lines and the tile, this product can be applied in either a matte or a gloss finish and probably should be renewed every couple of years. It will also help you prevent mildew from forming because it seals the grout. It won't allow water to embed in the grout. That often is the host for mildew to form. Each coat requires two hours to dry and then an additional coating can be applied. There is a distinct difference between the gloss and the matte in terms of the amount of sheen that you create. The color of the stone is significantly brighter than the original stone without sealer. I'm Pat and Paint. Thank you for joining us on the online community.